In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant Almighty God, through the yearly observances of Holy Lent, that we may grow an understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, The priest shall receive the basket from you and shall set it in front of the altar of the Lord your God. Then you shall declare before the Lord your God, My father was a wandering Armenian who went down to Egypt with a small household and lived there as an alien. But there he became a nation, great, strong, and numerous. When the Egyptians maltreated and oppressed us, imposing hard labor upon us, we cried to the Lord, the God of our fathers, and he heard our cry and saw our affliction, our toil, and our oppression. He brought us out of Egypt with his strong hand and outstretched arm, with terrifying power, with signs and wonders, and bringing us into this country, he gave us this land flowing with milk and honey. Therefore, I have now brought you the first fruits of the products of the soil which you, O Lord, have given me. And having set them before the Lord your God, you shall bow down in his presence. The word of the Lord. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what does Scripture say? The word is near you, in your mouth, and in your heart. That is, the word of faith that we preach. For if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with his heart, and so is justified and one confesses with the mouth, and so is saved. For the scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, enriching all who call upon him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the desert for 40 days to be tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and when they were over, he was hungry. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, Command this stone to become bread. Jesus answered him, It is written, One does not live on bread alone. Then he took him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a single instant. The devil said to him, I shall give to you all this power and glory, for it has been handed over to me, and I may give it to whomever I wish. All this will be yours if you worship me. Jesus said to him in reply, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him alone shall you serve. Then he led him to Jerusalem, made him stand on the parapet of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you to guard you, and with their hands they will support you lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him in reply, it also says, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. When the devil had finished every temptation, he departed from him for a time. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. A child in an amusement park thinks they're in paradise. Until they turn around, and they can't see their mother or their father. And in that moment, paradise becomes hell. The child will start to call out and cry out. You know, it's, it's, when you're in a place like that and you hear over the public announcement system, there's been a child lost, all of our hearts tighten up a little bit. We feel bad. From the time of the fall, we have been experiencing that the world in some sense is obscure. It's no longer the Eden that God placed us in. With our relationship with him, we turn away from him and everything changes because we want to make ourselves God. We want to, and we do, fall into those temptations that the devil gives to Jesus. But if Jesus is the way to the Father, because the moment that Jesus enters into the world, this obscurity is gone. All of reality is now transparent once again through him. So it's through Jesus we come back to the Father. And Lent is this time that we follow Christ so that we too can experience this once again, that we're not lost, we're not alone. Look at the readings in the, the first and second reading. Call out, cry out to the Lord, he hears you. We cry out in our troubles and he responds to us. When Jesus is tempted by the devil, the devil wants to make him doubt his own sonship, if you are the Son of God. And he says, if you worship me, I'll give you everything. But Jesus, he's not at all budged by it. He's not worried. He's not concerned about any of this. Because he knows that without the Father, nothing has meaning. He cannot think of himself apart from the Father. Everything that Jesus is, is the Son. 
He is the Son of the Father. And what Jesus has come is to do is to bring us to the Father, to the Father's love. And Jesus wants us to know the Father is not someone to be afraid of. The, the Father shows us his tenderness and his love so deeply that he sends his Son into the world and he reveals that we are saved through his cross. How much does he love us that he will reach into our existence, our humanity, our troubles, so that by having faith in him, we are saved. Lent is this time to discover once again that everything finds its meaning in him, in Christ, who brings us to the Father. Jesus wants us to know the Father's love. That's why he says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. Believe in me, follow me, come to me. So Lent is that time we, we, we turn ourselves around, we pray more, we ask, we, we, we do maybe some extra penances, but these are all ways in which we say, I do not rely on all these other things that the devil tempts us to, but I want to rely solely on the love of the Father because with him, everything changes. So when we feel like we, the Israelites, they felt enslaved, we cry out to him. We are fearful, we cry out to him. We are in our sin, we cry out to him, and he comes. So that this paradise lost once again reveals that everything because of Christ has become new again. And that Lent leads us to the sign of his immense salve, uh, salvific love on the cross, and that leads us to the resurrection. Let us now join the church in professing our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things remain, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident in our Father's love for us, we place before him now our prayers and needs. For the church and her leaders, may they always live and teach the truths of the Catholic faith in love and simplicity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public service, may they not fall to the temptation of favoring only the powerful, but seek in all their deliberations just solutions for the whole community, we pray to the Lord. Lord for an openness to life within the sacrament of marriage and an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the permanent diaconate, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who find it difficult to live the Christian life, may they rekindle their love for God and grow closer to him in all their joys and sorrows, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you strengthen us in your love, calling us to a deeper relationship with you during this holy season of Lent. We ask you to hear and answer these prayers we place before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Give us the right dispositions, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings. For with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By abstaining 40 long days from earthly food, he consecrated through his fast the pattern of our Lenten observance. And by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice so that celebrating worthily the Paschal mystery, we might pass over to last, at last to the eternal Paschal feast. And so with company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O oh God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At 
the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Renewed now with heavenly bread by which faith is nourished, hope increased, and charity strengthened, we pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. And before the final blessing, if you're at home and you would like somebody to visit you, to bring you Holy Communion to the other sacraments, please contact your parish. And we want to thank all those who make this Mass possible here at the Basilica of the Shrine of the Immaculate Conception and for all those who help out each week to serve and minister at this Mass. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May bountiful blessings, O Lord, we pray, come down upon your people that hope may grow in tribulation, virtue be strengthened in temptation, and eternal redemption be assured through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you. 
the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. If you cannot attend Mass and would like to receive the Eucharist at home, please contact your parish directly. To help support the TV Mass from the Basilica, call 1-866-507-8757 or visit faithdirect.net slash basilicatvmass.